Well, good day, everybody. It's morning here in the blustery, cold South Dakota. Thought I'd do a bench update. Um, this is an update mainly for the Psychedelic 60s group build. Um, if you don't know, I had to end up doing three separate paint jobs on this car. Um, I just got them back in the mo into modeling, being out of the hobby for 25 plus years, and not really building anything for probably 30 years. And since getting back in, which was in August of last year, this is the third model that I built. So it's learning all over again, airbrushing, painting, um, glue, all the stuff that's different. Now, all the different products and stuff. Um, this kit was given to me by my son for Christmas, so I had hoped to do a really good build on it. Unfortunately, the last paint job that I did, the decals were destroyed when the clear coat I sprayed on just decided to gobble everything up. So this rendition is minus decals and will be the final build of this car. I'm not redoing it. <laughs> this is it. This is how it came out. So I'm holding my camera. Sorry. <clears throat> so this is the build. Um, not exactly the street. I mean, the color that I was looking for when I built it, um, I had planned to do the yellow because that's what the, the box art is. Uh, but, um, I think overall it came out okay. Um, I'm fairly happy with it, I think. Uh, I showed it to him last night and he was like, oh, cool, Dad. And that was about it, so. <laughs> Not much more you can expect from a 30-something-year-old kid. Well, geez. Okay, he's 35 will be 35 so he's not a kid really but um yeah camera's not going to focus properly i guess <clears throat> she came out all right uh there are parts of the paint of this paint that didn't come out good uh you can't really see it but right here you can see some silverish color right there what happened was i was doing the chrome trim and i gave my molotov pen a little push to give it some more ink or some more paint and it gushed i mean it gushed and i was just like okay here we go again another paint job that i've got to redo but like i said this one is done I am not repainting this car and so for the build the group build um, this is the final for this car and like I said came out okay I mean I like the paint the paint job came out pretty good um, not the best I'm still just trying to find my way with these acrylic paints and the temperature outside oh my gosh I just can't believe how hard it is to paint when it's that cold outside i think this last paint job i did on this car was it was um it was in the low 30s but i had the garage warmed up to 63 or something like that i may have to start Painting bodies during the, the spring summer months before I start building cars again or something. I don't know But so that's my psychedelic 60s group build. It's done. It's completed There should be in all her blue glory Next up on the bench though. I have this 1925 Ford Model T street rod from Lindbergh 132nd scale. I did a I did a kit review on it recently and I decided that 
this is what I'm going to start building next. The body is really small, so there's not a lot of paint to do. And I have some ideas. But anyway, thank you all for uh, checking in. Uh, thank you to all those who have subscribed and liked and commented. I love all that stuff. It's great to see. Um, anyone who subscribes to my channel, I subscribe back to their channel and just, you know, keep it all going. Anyway, everyone have a great day. Keep modeling, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.